Hey guys, Aaron from ADH Gaming here. I'm back checking out another Super Mario Maker mod. In fact, I'm taking another look at the vanilla revamp mod today. If you did see my previous video, I recreated a level from the original Super Mario Brothers and I kind of feel it turned out okay. Now, the original NES game lacked ghost house and airship levels, so I've decided to create a brand new course instead of trying to recreate one. Now, the vanilla revamp mod improves the graphical style of the original Super Mario Brother theme. And as always, if you want to try this mod for yourself, I put a link down in the video description as well as full credits. Let's get creating a stage then. So already I'm going to start using the mushroom platforms. As you can see they've had a bit of a change there and I'm just going to put down some of these platforms that will drop once I've jumped on them. Make sure I can get across. Excellent. Let's put down some of the red coopers, put some wings on them as well. So you're going to have to bounce across these to get to the platforms over here. Now again you get three of the semi-solid platforms, they've all been changed here. This is the first one so I'm going to stick with this for the time being. Let's put a power up, maybe a mushroom up there, a couple more coopers and a piranha in the pipe for good measure. So the second semi-solid platform, that is the bone effect and I'm just going to put a cannon on top there. It will make sense in a minute. So over on the right hand side here, let's just create this little area up. And I'm going to put down a block with a vine in the middle. So you're going to have to hit that and you'll be able to reach the top platform. Put a P-switch door down as well. So you get that nice effect for the door too. So continuing upwards, what I'm going to do here is use another one of the semi-solid platforms. I'm going to actually come back on myself here, put a few more platforms down. A lot of the time I do find myself running out of space when creating courses. So you've got to do as much as you can using the space available here. So let's just, actually I'm going to change that over to the other semi-solid platform. Put down a P-switch on top. I will go into a bit more detail in a bit, but you'll need to get activate that and get down to that door on the left, which will bring you up here. So let's just put down another power-up, maybe a fire flower this time. And then just build up what I call a cave system. So let's just move over to the right here. Build downwards and back on myself. And then there's going to be a room over here on the left hand side and that will take us over to the airship level. So let's put down some ice, maybe a couple of saws as well, put down some coins. And over on the right hand side I'm going to actually use some of the donut blocks. So I'll just put those as you're coming down there, put down some spikes. So you're going to be very careful coming through this area. And then let's go onto the airship. So let's swap that over real quick. So again, yeah, the original airship theme wasn't in the original Super Mario Brothers. So I'm going to try and create some kind of airship level. Well, as good as I can anyway. So let's just build up this area. I really want to make this course quite difficult to get through. I'm going to chuck in as many obstacles as I can here. A load of Hammer Brothers, some of the cannons too. And uh, maybe down in this section as well, what I might actually do is put down some of the torches and put an extra life in here because I always like to just include one at least. Uh, so let's put a mushroom over there, some of the flying coopers as well. So we've got another Hammer Brothers up top. Let's just finish this ship off. Well, it kind of looks like a ship. So up here, what I'm going to do is put down a couple of the wigglers and some of the other mushroom platforms. And I can't forget to use the semi-solid platform. So I'm going to use all three of those right here. And I probably will go back and put some more later on in this course. Let's fill it up with some coins. Saves me coming back to do that in a bit. And I think I need to put a power up up here. So I might use a fire flower for that. Right, let's get creating some more oddly shaped airships here. So you're going to have to jump across this one. The one on the right, I think I might actually put some piranhas in some pipes. Nothing too difficult to get by, but these cannons definitely won't make it easy. A lot of the time that I do create the airship courses, I do give it the auto scroll, but I think in this case there's already enough obstacles to deal with, so not going to do that this time. But let's put some more of those falling platforms. And to give it that extra edge, going to put down some more cannons, so as you're jumping across those platforms, you could get hit. Let's use some of the one-way gates as well, just because... So I'm going to put them all down in a straight line here. And over here, I'm going to use one of the clown carts. So 
let's put that there with a platform underneath so it doesn't disappear off the screen and again you're going to have to fly through this section with a bunch of flying red coopers now if you do get to this section with a fireball power up of course you're going to be able to take out the coopers pretty easily so i'm going to put down some spike blocks as well just so that you need to navigate around those now over on the right hand side where we're coming up to the end of this section going to use another one of those semi-solid platforms and I'm going to also use the cloud blocks so I'm just going to put a few down here and the donuts that's going to take you over to the exit where I'm going to put the pipe but first put down a couple of the frumps put an extra power up just in case you lose it somehow and I'm just going to kind of close this area off using some more of the spike blocks because if you've still got the clown cart you could get across there quite easily think that's looking pretty good let's go back and just add in a few extra coins maybe a few extra enemies as well want to make this as challenging as possible here i think that's looking pretty good let's go back into the pipe then so coming up to the end of the stage here we haven't really got too much space to work with so i'm just gonna kind of finish this off with a few more pipes with piranhas in Let's put down a falling platform just in case you're silly enough to drop down there and a couple of the large coopers. I guess it is supposed to be a ghost house theme. I haven't really used booze very much here uh, but I have done in previous videos so I'm not too fast. So let's just build up some bricks so you can just jump over onto the goalpost. And that's looking pretty good. Maybe put down some extra items here fire power up if you really need it at that point and while i go back and add some extra coins to the first section here i do think i need to do a bit of play testing because some of the jumps might be a bit tricky i just want to make sure they all work and then give it a go yeah i think i'm ready to give this a shot so let's just jump across the platforms so you need to keep running here because otherwise you're just going to drop off the screen jump off the coopers perfect and then we've got a power up up top so I think I might go and grab that because I'm sure I'm going to need it. Now the section that is upcoming I had quite a lot of difficulties with mainly down to the timing. So I'm quite intrigued to see how I go this time. So we need to wait for the cannon, jump onto it, excellent. So if something goes wrong in this section we can use the reset doors down below. So up top we need to get back across, grab the P switch or jump on it at least. And you have to kind of be exactly on time to get to the P-switch door. So let's jump across. Added a couple more note blocks there to give you that extra boost across. So let's grab the fire flower, which could have been positioned better, but it doesn't really matter too much. Drop down the donut blocks. Nice. And we just want to head up towards the pipe now. So into the airship theme. Now, I don't get on very well with the Hammer Brothers, so let's just time this right. That went better than expected. So we can kind of just jump across the top here a bit using the cannons and the coopers. I'm going to go and try and get that one up from down below, so let's time this correct. Excellent. There's my one up. Let's get back up top. Yeah, using the cannons really does help, actually. Excellent. Right, so we've got a couple of the wigglers coming up, so... I can pretty much avoid them, but I might just go for the power-up up here. Don't really need it, but the points come in handy. I think, if anything, the fire power-up makes this course maybe a little easier than it should be, but... This did actually take me a few goes to get through, so so far this is going pretty well for me. Just jump over to the clown cart, first time into it. Take out some of the Coopers. And again, there is another power-up up top, which I'll just go and grab because I can. So we just need to get underneath the frumps now. Actually, I think I'll jump over the top of them. Have a bit more luck doing that. Right, let's get back into the pipe. And we're coming up to the end of the stage. There really isn't anything too difficult to deal with here. A few piranha plants and a couple of the big coopers. Let 
another power up that I didn't really need. And I wasn't expecting the Koopa to do the damage. Not that it really matters because you can still get to the goal from up above. And that's another course created using the Vanilla Revamp mod. Had a lot of fun with that as usual. Love the graphical style as I've said before. And if you want to try this mod for yourself and you've got the means to, you can find the link down in the video description like I said earlier. In any case guys, did you like the video? Definitely want to hear some of your comments down below. Maybe give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, it would be amazing if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.